All right, guys, today's going to be a fairly short video. I just wanted to uh, quickly talk about uh, the NVIDIA Pascal GPUs and how their performance is pretty bad with uh, DirectX 12 games on Linux. What happened is that uh, I think last week I purchased uh, on a sale Horizon Zero Dawn, um, and which is a DirectX 12 only game. And uh, I installed it of one of my machines, which is a GTX 1060 uh, 3 gigabyte version a GPU from NVIDIA. And I knew very well that, um, you know, this kind of Pascal architecture from NVIDIA, which is the, the 1060, 70, 80, and so on, uh, cards, or even earlier, actually have issues with Veki D3D uh, to basically translate DirectX 12, um, you know, calls to Vulkan calls uh, for some reason. And even knowing that, I thought, okay, uh, maybe it won't be a great experience, but I might potentially get 30 FPS at the very low settings or low settings, you know, and maybe I would use FSR to make my experience a little bit better uh, by, you know, using an upscaler from a, a lower resolution uh, if, if all things fail. But I was not ready to, uh, you know, to face the kind of performance uh, that I was witnessing uh, when starting the game. The game started and it starts actually with a cutscene. And this was literally a, si a slideshow. <laughs> it's like one frame, one second, next second, another frame. It was extremely, extremely slow. And so I had to kind of exit the intro to first be able to uh, lower down the settings. But even though uh, I did that, uh, even in game, uh, the performance w was extremely, extremely bad. Uh, we're talking about uh, three to four FPS at the, the lower settings. Um, so it's unplayable, uh, as you can imagine. What's happening here? I mean, if, if you look at ProtonDB, um, it's, it's a common experience of every, anybody who has a Pascal GPU, he's experiencing this kind of lower frame rates, even if they have a more powerful, for example, CPU, these kind of things. So if you have a 1060, a 1070, if you want a 1080, you will face a much lower performance than, than you have in Windows. And in most cases, unless you have a 1080 Ti, uh, you will actually be, uh, you know, almost unplayable, uh, like sub 30 potential frame rates, potentially. So which is not very nice because when you consider that this kind of hardware is still actually the most popular kind of hardware on the market, this is kind of gonna make uh, Linux gaming look bad for anybody who tries to, you know, potentially, you know, coming from Windows, gonna try, oh, I'm gonna try Linux and I'm gonna see how well it runs my games. If they happen to run any kind of Direct 12 games, they will actually be very disappointed with the performance. And there's no indication that, you know, those games will perform badly before you, you launch them, you know. Uh, so it would be great to, to have some kind of word of warning for people who are using Proton um, on these kind of titles in the future. I guess it's not really an issue for the Steam Deck because the Steam Deck is using uh, AMD hardware and so they will probably have better support anyway. Yet, you know, uh, a lot of the gamers still on Linux are using NVIDIA. So, um, you know, if you're stuck on this kind of Pascal generation of hardware, there's not really much you can do. It's, it's a known issue, even the, the developers of uh, you know, Proton, such as uh, Philippe Rebol, um, have mentioned that uh, they are they're very aware of this issue. They know there's a performance penalty. They don't really know why it's, it's happening. It's probably a driver uh, kind of issue, but since the whole driver stack is closed source, on NVIDIA, it's really hard to actually find out uh, what to do. But they say it could be possible, but they, they have no intent uh, spending a lot of energy on, on what they consider to be older hardware, which is fair. But uh, unfortunately, the conversion from older hardware to new hardware is pretty much slowing down right now uh, because of the, the inflated prices uh, and, and the lack of uh, in even stock or inventory anywhere. Um, it's, it's very hard to actually find hardware and even find hardware at a reasonable price. So, in fact, most people have been you know, waiting to um, switch to a newer hardware for a while now. So, in my case, so I have a 1060, right, uh, on this particular machine. And so, the kind of only uh, path for me would be to, you know, to move to AMD, uh, potentially, but the AMD cards that are available for the kind of performance I would like, are very expensive. Um, uh, I think there's uh, an upgrade path to uh, GTX 1060, uh, 1050. I mean, uh, super, uh, which is which is uh, a low end card, a Turing generation, which is the next generation after the the, 10, the 10, 1060. 
It's not gonna be great. Uh, still low end. It's probably around the same kind of performance profile of 1060. But the main difference is that it will actually run uh, DirectX 12 games much better. So uh, it could make this kind of game playable uh, on Linux, which is uh, a big Im improvement over not being able to play, uh, you know, potentially Death Stranding and uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. So yeah, that's it. If you are stuck on Pascal GPU, just, just be careful. Make sure that the game you're, you're purchasing in the future um, are available as DirectX 11 uh, renderers, or even better, Vulkan. If not, uh, you know, better refrain from buying Direct Stealth 12 um, games only, uh, at least for now, un unless the situation of the Vega D3D improves in the future. But it seems like the likelihood uh, is fairly low. All right. So, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, this was informational and that you register for more for content in the future. Thanks for watching and catch you later.